I was sincere when I said hi, everybody, because it seemed like everybody was really just kind of there to say hi to you. It's like a one huge, big party where I was going to say hello to everybody in the chorus of the evening via song, via singing and dancing. I said to Roger, do you think I will fill these halls? This was after the Ford Affair, too. So he says, of course, your manager would say, yes, of course, you're there. Now. I didn't believe it, so I thought, well, I'll wait and see the next time when I'm going out. And when the, the announcement was made, tickets were sold immediately. Stadiums, stadiums sold out, two and three shows in one place. Tickets are one thing, but I do, I see them standing out there and I say, hi, everybody. That's when I feel like, Okay, that's what I'm doing now. I have arrived at the stage where I will draw people like this. We broke the rehearsal down into three parts. Part one was a music rehearsal, which lasted for about two and a half weeks, uh, which was just banned. At the same time as that was happening, there was a choreography rehearsal going on with the dancers. And we broke at the middle of that we did um, a production for about one week of putting the set together then brought in the band onto the stage and a day later we brought in Cena and the dancers and from there we pressed on regardless can we get in there sooner Jack all right after They normally have a conversation with Mark, the set designer, and, and up front, and he de then designs the basic sort of like premise and idea. Basically it's like this, Tina says, I'd like one of these, and then she gets it. We don't need another hero. There's a bit of stuff in the middle where she changes her mind and says, you got it completely wrong, are you stupid, all that kind of stuff. but. Otherwise, it's quite easy, really. We just give her what she wants, and if if we do give her what she wants, then she's happy. It takes a reasonable amount of time to set this one up. We haven't really got it down to a fine art yet, as it's kind of like only the uh, seventh show on the tour, and we've done quite a few shows, should we say, without the set. So we've um, we're not up to speed yet, but hopefully it's going to go up in about four to five hours. Let it down! Don't stop! Let it let it flow! Go, go, I first met with Tina and Roger back in, I think it was late October or November, and Tina had had very clear ideas. They were working on the video for Golden Eye at that point, and she had some sketches which were storyboards for the video, which she showed me. She had this idea of the the iris at the in the credits of the Bond movie, the iris that opens out. There's another entrance for Golden Eye that's very special, I think. I couldn't get Mark to understand, or Mr. Fisher to understand what I was looking for. I like the arc. You know the big building on the road here that is just rented, thank goodness. I love that building. And I wanted my stage to feel like that with me on top of it. I wanted when you walk into the back of the hall, the first thing you would see was this arc looking thing, and then it's where I'd be on top. He couldn't get it quite. I kept making forms. Finally, he came to the south of France. And I turned the plot upside down as one of those that's me, just like an arc. It comes right up and had ridges and it would look like steps and then right at the top, and he says, oh, a pot upside down, so that's how we managed to get it, which I hope it feels like that. I got a sketchbook and I did some 
sort of is this this is what we could do is this what you're thinking sort of sketches and I think we had a sort of fair amount of yes that's the kind of thing so I went off and did some more drawings and we met again and when all of that's agreed then I make a a 3D computer model in my studio that gets used to show Tina and then the same computer model goes to the people that build it I'm a bad we will go I know that I've been mad in love before but you got you just got the baby I was very excited to learn that Roy was going to be the LD because he and I have worked on a number of shows together. I got in contact with Mark Fisher, who is the set designer, and um, collaborated with him on basically looking at what he was doing as far as the set goes, and then yeah. trying to incorporate lighting pods, fixtures, whatever, customized things that actually fit in or complemented the stage set. This was a show where everybody was dumping very clear ideas on me and saying this is the kind of thing we want, this is the sort of thing. So what, what we have in this show is something where I am very much the interpreter, the visualizer of what people have in their heads, I think. And although it has my style on it, it's also me reacting to other people who have very clear views of what they want to do, and Roy is an example of that. The set has very uh, strong uh, personality. It's strong on one side, but then it's also very sexy and feminine on the other side. And that's kind of what I attempted to do with what we lovingly call the hair dryers and <laughs> the, uh, the pods. My job as, li as lighting director is to take the tour on the road that Roy Bennett designed and actually work the show and keep improving on it. After seeing the design that Mark had done, then I started thinking about how I could incorporate lighting into things that, that would complement the shape of the eyes, such as installing lamps around the iris so that it could mimic the shape. Everything is controlled from one console, so that it's quite an undertaking uh, with all the different types of software that you have to deal with and try and make everything work. Tina's songs are very big. I mean, the big songs are very big. And you just need to have big looks. <laughs> Well, I'm actually the choreographer for the tour, and I work in conjunction with um, Misha Bagazi. He is in charge of the stage production and choreography as well. Um, but basically, I look after the dancers, um, teaching them different routines, different steps, as well as Tina. <laughs> I'm very strict about, in my own way, about my dance. I don't want a choreographer to choreograph someone that's not me in my style because it's, my style goes, as Roger calls it, old choreography, but it still works because it's different. She's very involved. She's got a lot of energy. She knows what she wants. She's got um, some pretty set ideas on, and the feel of what she wants in, in each number. So she gets very involved in a lot of the choreography. Two, three, that is. Uh, 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 uh,
<laughs> it's like a collaboration between, you know, my work, Misha's work, and, and Tina's work as well. It's wonderful working with her. Um, it's an experience of a lifetime, really. You know what? When the music starts, I dance. I just cannot stop. <laughs> got the rock element in there but it's a lot sexier definitely and I think the girls add that sexual element to it ba, 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 da. I know the girls can dance I have one of the dancers dance with Janet Jackson and Janet is known for her choreography and I have a actually two of the girls have danced with Janet Jackson and a set of twins they're black girls very pretty black girls and I have one white girl and she dances really great and she's very attractive also but we play good together there. They're just in there enough so we can perform together and make it one unit. You know. I think the set is amazing. I think that's going to blow people's minds away. The dancers, even though she's using two of the dancers that she used in her last tour, um, they look very different. The image is very different, clothing-wise. Again, it's a sexier element. I think probably a lot more dynamic. We work good together, we get along great. They've got great bodies, they have great attitudes, they know how to work the audience. So when I first saw the set drawings that uh, Mark sent me and the screen center stage. Uh, thought about ideas to put on the screen. So we brought along some old images from Thunderdome and GoldenEye and, and uh, also just different effects to kind of give the video a different quality. We have two reels of playback material. We have four cameras, two point of view cameras. There's lots of different effects that we can give to the video. I miss you at all. Since you think I play saxophone, keyboards, harmonica, and percussion. My favorite part of this show is the unplugged stuff. Never had so much damn fun in my life. Well, I want to do a medley this time. I want to try to really put together a really good, strong, exciting medley, because medley, medleys can become boring. So I want to try to capture some of the older songs in the form of a medley, except the ones that's very exciting, the ones that I want people to hear. So it's almost like pulling, balling up your fist and pulling out a string of the good ones. So I will give them a lot of the songs that they probably didn't anticipate getting because of this medley. 
But I hope that all my fans know that medleys are small portions of songs that you get one verse or two verse in a chorus and out. I want to maybe try doing a bit of all terrain here. See how she works. Well, I can tell you right now, we need a double sheet of pride. Well, at least 12 foot. Yeah. The Tina Mobile is a replacement for the claw, which she's had on a number of previous shows. When I, I designed her show in 1990, and we, for the first time, we did this claw that burst through the stage and came right out with Tina on the air. It can go 10 feet in the air from, the, from its sitting position, which is 5 foot and it runs on four hard form tyres and can run in any direction it likes. She always wants something where she can go right out into the audience and be there and so this is this week's version of it. The show tonight basically all it will do is just track straight forward into uh, a barricaded area goes 10 feet in the air, retracts itself and sinks back down at stage level where Tina climbs off and carries on with the show. On her own on a stage she gives off enough energy to you know keep an entire stadium going for an hour and or an hour or two. But um, I think the added element of having the others there plus the lighting of the stage set itself is just gonna sort of call for an incredible show. Dreams and 
Just a memory 